In the summer of 2006, leaders from various B&B clubs around America pulled together to begin a unique initiative based in Boston called the Phoenix Project. What is special about the Phoenix Project is that it's designed and grounded in the belief that the development of one's self naturally fuels positive action on behalf of one's community and world. In this spirit of awakening in action, 21 students, aka the Phoenixes, impacted over 35 community groups around Boston, benefiting people from the ages of 5 to 83 through a huge range of service activities. We did a lot of community work and um, like volunteering, uh, teaching young children and yoga and, and like pregnant mothers stress relief and all these really great things that you can use in life, like in, in your job or like in your family. And so it, it, it was beautiful because it was that flexible. Being able to even do community service and things like that there was so rewarding because I always had that passion of doing community service, but I never took that action. And then through the Phoenix Project, I was given the opportunity. It was so rewarding to be able to share that even while I was growing. The Phoenix Project program is itself built around this concept of awakening in action. Each phase of the project integrates inner training for a certain aspect of growth and service activities that allow participants a live and challenging training ground to practice that aspect of growth. Essentially, the program can be broken down into three phases. The first phase is about developing physical body sensitivity and versatility, experiencing a greater awareness of the connection between the mind and body. During this time, their service is largely based in intensive physical labor to practice finding greater energy inside their bodies through enhanced focus and concentration. The second phase involves refreshing oneself emotionally by gaining awareness and control over one's emotions and developing a sense of inner happiness and mental stability. During this time, service activities involve more interaction with wide ranges of people to practice maintaining a stable and comfortable mental state regardless of the emotional environment. The third phase involves integration and mastery through developing goals and maintaining habits to sustain the above mentioned physical health and strength and mental stability, clarity and fulfillment beyond the completion of the project. During this time, service activities involve the completion of certain long-term projects, especially from the role of a leader. I mean, even to want to do this shows that you have a strong desire to heal yourself and to heal your community. Um, and I think anybody who undertakes this journey is going to find what they're looking for, um, whatever it is, whether it's confidence, whether it's direction, whether it's just finding passion in their life. It's something that it's, it's universal and it's just something that you can apply to anything. So whether you're a, a doctor, a bus boy, or anybody, any profession, having joy, confidence, yeah. and vision and passion can create a happy life no matter what you're doing. So if you want those things, then I would say come to the Phoenix Project, be ready to sweat and to get up early and to really make an impact and the difference in your life and to the lives around you. So this year's Phoenix Project, we're hoping to expand things a lot. Um, actually, most of the participants who joined last year had some experience in Don Yoga, but we're hoping this year to have individuals and students who, anybody who really wants to grow can join the program this year. Um, and then also we're hoping to find new sources of funding this year. And last year actually most of our funding came through the nonprofit Don Foundation, but we're hoping this year to make connections with different organizations and individuals who share the same goals and perspectives. Um, we're also planning different programs this year, like a week-long summer camp for kids and teenagers and college students to experience a similar kind of process of growth um, through learning enhancement and empowerment, just like it's happening on a larger scale in the Phoenix Project itself. So through all of this, we're hoping that the Phoenix Project can let individuals on all levels engage in this journey to realize our potential and really make something happen in the world that's very beautiful and makes a real difference. Our vision is that this project will become a model for anyone, from college students to CEOs alike, of how to cultivate our happiness and energy 
without neglecting our sustenance and responsibility to the world. We encourage you to participate and co-create this project. If you are interested, please contact us at phoenix60000 at hotmail.com.